All right, everyone, we are going to go ride the town again. We're going to go up towards LaVale. What you're looking at right in front of you, the bottom windows, the left, the right hand window was my bedroom. The middle window was Haley's bedroom and the window all the way to the left was Marcus and Tyler's bedroom. And that was my apartment for so many years. Um, until I moved to the house over on Somerville Avenue. All right, we're gonna take a ride up towards LaVale. Reason. I feel like I want to leave the car running everywhere I go just to keep the car warm. It's so damn cold. I guess those of you that live up north know what I'm talking about. It's bone chilling cold. Or this is Maryland Avenue. I know I was giving you like a, a quiet. I wasn't talking. Well, I don't know what I was even thinking about. Anyways, um, this is Maryland Avenue. I thought at one time they were going to tear all these houses out of here because these houses are in bad shape. Like that one there looks like it's totally abandoned. Um, I would love to go in some of these abandoned houses, but I know the cops are bad around here and I just don't, I'm not ready to go to jail um, going into these abandoned locations. <laughs> and I would be by myself because I'd have nobody to film with. Um, I just checked on Pappy. He's doing about the same. He's in and out. Um, Tyler said that he told him he got his license and Pappy put a big old smile on his face so Pappy was happy that Tyler got his license um, see they started taking some of these houses out to the right and this one house there was a house up here on the left I think it was a meth house it blew up or something it's gone now too this town's they built a jail here when I lived here and when they built that jail here it brought so many bad people to this town um, it really, it brought the Baltimore people down, down in this town. This town's pretty, pretty bad on drugs and crime. Um, it wasn't so bad when I, when I, when I lived here and raised my children, but right before we moved, you know, a few years before we moved is when they brought that jail here. And I guess all the family members of the people in jail came to live here so they'd be closer to visit their family. And it was cheap to live here back then. Now I believe it's, you know, it's pretty, you can find some cheap places to live here, but it's a little pricey. I'm supposed to see Marcus, um, I don't know about today, possibly today, but I'm supposed to see Marcus, I'm supposed to go see my son. Um, I was going to, let's see, I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take the highway. And then I'll come, maybe I'll come back the other way. I'm going to take the highway because it's going to be faster. Oh, wow. Look at that psychedelical house. Holy cow. There was a house right here on the right. It's gone now. See where the sign is? It's My friend lived there and it caught fire. And her and her kids had to climb out and go, climb up on the roof. A, a truck, a tractor trailer come around that corner where that car is coming right now come around that corner and it flipped over 
it was one of them tankers that was holding gas or something and it hit caught her house on fire but thank God her and her kids got out Now you can kind of see some of the town from here over to the right. I know you can't really see too much to the right. Look at all the steeples. That's over on Washington Street by George Washington's headquarters. Um, I love all the steeples. It's so beautiful. This is called um, 68. It's Interstate 68. This car better not come in front of me. Boy, didn't it look like it was coming in front of me. Holy cow. Gave me a heart attack. Whew. Anyways, this is 68. This takes you to La Vale. This, um, you can take the, the Narrows, which is over by Lover's Leap. You can take that all the way to La Vale, too. But this is just the quicker way. You can see the roads are already treated. It's calling for three to five inches of snow now. They've already got the salt down on the roads. They kind of pre-treat here. Um... I don't know how much driving I'm going to do when it's when it's if it snows. I just you know I know how to drive in the snow because I've done it multiple multiple times when I lived here. I hate it. Um, I definitely will not be driving if it's icy. I guess I'll be stuck. But if I get stuck, I can work on some videos. I have videos to work on. We are staying with um, Tyler's uncle and aunt, and um, I seen a shadow figure in their house like, twice last night, twice, and Charlene thinks it's her son who passed away. He didn't pass away in the house, but she thinks it's her son. But I seen it twice, and it kind of freaked me out the first time because I thought it was one of the guys walking fast, and there was nobody, there was nobody there. Um, and it was a big, it was a big shadow figure. It wasn't little, it was a big one. Um, and then I seen it a second time. So that was pretty creepy. But, you know, in a way it could be a blessing for, for Charlene because her son passed away. And, you know, she really misses him. And he's there watching over his mama. I feel like the car is going to slide all over the place. I have no clue why I feel that way. I'm so nervous. I'm going 52 miles an hour and I don't even know what speed limit is. These corners are getting me. Those twisty turny roads when I was driving really got me too. We were just driving here. car's not made for these mountains. <laughs> it's all it's ever known is, is the flat roads in Florida. I had to get some antifreeze because like the antifreeze was low in my car. I'm thinking my car could freeze. At home, I keep my car in the garage. Just, you know, my car don't sit outside very much. All right, so we are almost to LaVale. And Tyler kept saying that, that Golden Corral has been here when we lived here. But I don't think it was. I honestly do not think Golden Corral was here when I moved here, or when I lived here. I think they built it after we moved away. So we're going to get off at Vokey Road in LaVale, Maryland.
And I think, I think if I turn left, I think that might be where Cracker Barrel is. I don't even know where Cracker Barrel is. If, um, if it was even, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe it'll come to me when I, when I, um, see it. But I don't remember ever eating at it. I love Cracker Barrel. Their food's pretty, I can see Cracker Barrel right now. This was never here. It's to my left. It was never here when we lived here. Tyler's crazy. But him and I should come up here and eat one night. Because it's pretty reasonable. All right, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. When we turn left, it's to the left. And there was an Arby's, not Arby's. What the heck was on this corner? It's on the corner. No, it's right here to the left. See? That was definitely never there. There's a CBS on the corner now. There used to be a really cute house right before this corner. They tore it down. I'm trying to think. There was some kind of restaurant right here on this corner where the CVS is, but I can't remember what it was. God, there's cameras everywhere on all the lights. There never was cameras when I lived here. Look, Bob Evans is to your right. That was never there either. Nope. Dairy Queen's to your right. That's new. Oh, wow. I don't even know if AutoZone was out there. This is crazy. Surplus cities to your left. I want to go in there. Look around. Now Lowe's has always been there. You go back and up the end of Lowe's. It was always there. There's a grill house. I don't... I think that was there. I don't know. Things change so much. move away and you're gone for a while we've only been gone I think we've been gone seven years but a lot can happen in seven years heck um, when I moved back to Florida things had changed so so much there's a Ruby Tuesdays on the left the McDonald's was always there I know the McDonald's was always there I think that Harbor Freight's new and that Goodwill's new everything on the right's been there Denny's has been there I don't even know what stores are in our mall. Like, there's a mall here, but there was never very, very many stores in the mall. Oh, there's a Starbucks. There's a Taco Bell. I'll have to see where the, um, where the Dunkin' is, because I have no clue where the Dunkin' is. We never had a Dunkin' here. Burger King's always been here. The Harley Davidson place was here when we lived here. Um, there's a Super 8 up there on the right. See that, guys? I used to work there. Somebody, I think this, I think the Duncan is up there. I'm not positive. I'm going to keep driving. Long John Silver's was my son's very first job. For some reason, I think the Duncan is up here by Ollie's. Ollie's was always here. There it is. There's Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to get me some coffee. Whoop, whoop. There used to be an Olin Mills in this plaza, too. I kind of doubt that there is now, but... Joanne Fabrics, that was all here. Ollie's, good stuff. I'm going in Duncan. I wonder if Duncan's open, like, to walk inside. I think it is. I got to pee. Oh, that's not even a parking space. I guess I'm going to have to park right here. All right, guys, I'm going into Duncan. I will be right back. Who wants something that's in the car? Tell me what you want. I will pick it up. All right, be right back. Alright everyone, I'm back. 
at home I had a VIP card where you could get a $2 coffee, but the VIP card did not work here. So, um, I guess they're not a participating Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. But it didn't cost that much. It was like $3 and something. Where's the keys at? Oh, there they are. So. Gotta get a drink, guys. Alright everyone, Dunkin Donuts, I don't know, something about Dunkin Donuts, they have the best coffee. It's not too strong, it's not too weak, um, it's just perfect, it really is. Um, when we were driving up here, when we, we stopped at Bucky's and I decided I'm going to get me a coffee. I knew I was not going to be able to sleep with Tyler driving. Um, so I figured, well, I might as well just get a coffee and stay, you know, keep myself at least a little bit of alert. Um, and I could still rest my eyes while he was driving, but that, there's no way I could have went to sleep. I got a, a large coffee at Bucky's, and um, I don't know. When I was pouring the cream, and the, I didn't put sugar in it, but when I was putting the creamer, because the creamer, the vanilla has sugar in it, so I never use regular sugar, too. Um, it just looked so dark and 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 it smelled so strong so I took a little bit sip of it while I was standing there I thought this is disgusting I threw it in the garbage I did not even get it because it was so gross but Dunkin Donuts has really good coffees and this is an extra large I'm trying to think my bill was only three dollars and something and I got three donut holes um, so you know it's it's you know maybe two dollars and something for the coffee almost three dollars for the coffee I think my bill was 412 and the donut holes were um, 30 cents a piece I just got three of them um, but I'm gonna take you guys for a ride the rest of the way around the veil I wish that you know I wish I had somebody to hang out with I, you know you guys jump in this damn car with me and go with me let's do something let's go somewhere it's awesome just being able to, to for, for me to be able to talk to the camera and talk to you guys. I wish I could hear what you're saying. <laughs> I can't hear you. We would crap if somebody said, oh, I'm right here in the back seat. <laughs> we would crap. Ah. Oh. Okay. This is so good. Really, really good. Mm. All right, so we're going to get driving again. Um, if I had Tyler with me, I'd go up towards Frostburg because there's this, but it's even colder up there. There's this pull off area that we took a bunch of pictures before. Um, but, you know, Tyler's still at his paps. I went in and seen him, and um, he's about the same. He's drinking a little bit of orange juice, but he hasn't. Um, he hasn't went number two in, I think, two weeks. The The hospice nurse said that it would probably be this week. Um, so, and today, guys, is, I don't even know what today is. Today, yeah, I don't know. I can't. Where's my, where's my phone? There it is. Today is January 21st. I know you're not going to see this right away. You're probably not going to see this till I come back home because... I don't have internet anywhere. Actually, they did get internet into Pappy's house for him to have, to for him to have YouTube and um, Netflix and stuff like that. But so many people are in and out of Pappy's house. And his place, you guys have seen it. It's small. It's one bedroom, one bath, and it's real teeny. Um, and just when I just got there, I'm trying to think. There was what? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus Pappy eight, and then me, nine. There was nine people in that little apartment. Um, 
So that's why I just kind of try to, you know, let Tyler hang out there. I mean, of course I love Pappy to death. You know, he is, he is an awesome person. I love all the stories. I thank God that I videotaped and we got to, um, hear his stories over the last three years that we came up. Um, you know, we really spent most of our time just with him. We really didn't do much else. And I am so glad that we did that because that's going to be very important to Tyler. Um, Tyler loves his pappy. He loves his pappy so much. So this time with him, even though, and plus Tyler's around his family, you know, he's, he wasn't, he, he was close to his family, but he wasn't really, really close to his family. And now he's getting to spend time with his uncle and his aunts and, um, you know, I think his cousins. So this is important for him and I have no problem. They don't mind that I'm there. They don't mind at all. But I have no problem backing away so that family can go in there. Um, that's why I told Tyler that, you know, I would just take a ride and go make a video. Um, I'm sure I'll go back in there this evening and then I'll go back up to his, to his uncle's house. Um, his uncle's house is very, very nice. And it was awesome of them to, to invite us to stay there. So comfortable. I slept so good last night. Um, you know, and I felt completely safe. There's other people that have invited us to stay with them. Um, but I felt safe at his uncle's house. Some of these other people, I'm just not too sure. Anyways, um, we got to see Jimmy last night. You guys remember Jimmy, Chainsaw Jimmy, the one that got the chainsaw on his neck. I think we're supposed to see him, to see him later on today too. Um, I'm not really sure. But anyways, I'm going to get driving, and you guys are going with me, so put your seatbelts on. Let's go. I better put my seatbelt on. <laughs> I better put mine on. What am I telling everybody to put their seatbelts on when I ain't got mine on? All right. I got, a, I got some ibuprofen in my pocket. Every time I walk, my pocket's jingling. My ibuprofen. Um, oh, good. My battery's charged. I'm charging my batteries for my camera as I as we drive just to keep them charged all right here we go let me turn you guys around all right I'm gonna stop and start again just because um, to start the camera over so it doesn't click off while I'm driving here we go all right, everyone, let's do this. Let me get another drink real quick. There's Ollie's. I like to go into all these places, but I don't have money to spend, so there's no sense in going in it. Plus, I don't have no way to get stuff back home, you know? I know that they're gonna they're giving Tyler stuff from his that was his pappy's and that was his mother's. So we gotta figure out where we're putting all that stuff. I might have to buy a big tote to go on the back of the car. I don't think there's a Sam's Club around here. I'm pretty sure there's not. But if we had a Sam's Club, I almost bought one of those big totes to go on the car from Sam's. And I just didn't. Ooh, that looks all crooked. Oh, how are we going to do this? I got to get up and behind these cars. A lot of traffic I'm trying to get out of this little plaza oh oh that trucks probably putting stuff down for the weather 
they get ready up here. I mean, they get really ready for the ice and the um, snow. Yep, he's putting stuff on the ground. Like an ice melt or something. Maybe it's coming tonight. Maybe I'll be able to, to show you guys tonight. plaza so dang it I'm gonna have to stay behind these guys this plaza up here on the right has a Sally's at least it did have a Sally's I see Sally's on the side there's a Dollar Tree up here too I'm trying to think if I remember the Dollar Tree being up here Martin's Gabe's Gabe's is a good store to go go in if you like to sort through stuff because um, they have a lot of buyouts. You never know what's going to have a little pinch or a little hole in it. You have to really sort through it. And usually you don't get too many, um, too many, um, things that other people might have. Because there's a lot of one of the kinds. There's a Kohl's there. Um, I'm going to go this way. Gabe's is in front of us, which we're not going to. We're not going to go in. I might walk into this Dollar Tree, though, and just to see. All right, well, what are we doing, dude? I might go into the Dollar Tree just to see if they have any of those round boards that I made all them Christmas gifts with. Those boards were really nice for being a dollar twenty-five. Um, this Dollar Tree, I don't even know if it's a dollar twenty-five. I guess maybe everybody's went to a dollar twenty-five. Okay, Martin's is a market that I used to shop at. Um, you earned points and you got discounts on gasoline. There used to be a pet store over here, but I don't, I really don't see the pet store anymore. Yeah, I think I remember this Dollar Tree. There used to be, oh, my favorite Chinese restaurant used to be over here on the left. They don't have it no more. It's not here no more. It left, but it was it was like the best Chinese restaurant in this town. Let me see here. Oh. Oh, I could have parked right there. Might have to come back around and park there. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, Dollar Tree did not have what I was looking for. Didn't stay in there very long. I just ran straight back to the craft department, and then I went and used the restroom, and now we're leaving. We're going to go and just ride around. I don't know. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, it says light rain starting in 20 minutes. That means snow. That means freezing roads. Oh, no. There's a tractor supply here. Chick-fil-A in the middle or to the left. It was, we took Pappy here a couple of times, but it was never here when we lived here. There was a Chick-fil-A downtown in Cumberland, but this, this one here was never here. Um... I'm trying to think of the best way. I think we're just going to take the highway back. 
I'm worried about, you know, if it starts raining, these roads are going to freeze. It's 40 degrees outside now. And that's only by the, <clears throat> by the thermometer thing on my car. I don't know how accurate that is. I can look on my phone, but, um, yeah, I don't know how accurate that is. Let me see what it says on my phone. Now, on my phone, it says Cumberland's 38 degrees. So, um, <clears throat> and the low tonight's going to be 30. Oh, my goodness. Today, what is today? Today's Saturday, the 21st. It's going to be lows 30, highs 38. Um, Sunday, tomorrow, is going to be lows 28, highs 38. 60% chance of rain. Mondays, lows 31, high 38. Tuesdays, low 29, high 40. Oh, my gosh. Wednesday, low 28, high 34, with 70% chance of precipitation. Oh, I hope that we can get out of here, like, when we have to leave. I hope that we will be able to, you know, get away from the cold weather. I'm not going to drive in the freezing rain or, or the or the snow so we're gonna have to plan this carefully and if for some reason Pappy doesn't pass while we're here we're not gonna be able to come back for a funeral only because Tyler's not gonna be able to get two more weeks off of work Tyler took two weeks off of work, unpaid, guys. So that means that, you know, he gets paid every two weeks. There's going to be two weeks that we're not going to have a paycheck at all. So I appreciate all the donations. A couple more came in today. Thank you so much to each and every one of you guys that are, you know, thinking of us when we're in this tough time right now. And where Tyler needs to be. Tyler definitely needs to be here. gas pedal. Oh, I wanted to go in Surplus City. Dang it. I did want to go in there. They have all kinds of unique stuff in there. Now I done got on the damn highway. I'm worried though if it starts raining. Maybe I'll get to go back up there. But maybe not. Whatever it is that they have on the ground is supposed to be, um, it'll melt the ice. And then they will have to keep up with it probably, but at least it's there for if it starts, you know, raining or sleeting or whatever. And, um, oh, I'm nervous. And somebody's already on the road, at least, you know, that will start melting it for the people that are already on the road. I'm trying to see what road this is. Oh, I'm losing my lane. God, this coffee is so delicious, guys. Haystack Mountain is what we're on. Yeah, I'll try to come up to Surplus City. I don't know, in a few days, if, if I even make it. It really doesn't matter. I don't really have money to spend. Although they used to have stuff that was really cheap and really cool. The cars behind me are probably like, why is this lady slowing down? I'm scared that the car is going to slide. I don't know why. I'm so nervous that the car is going to slide.
now we are just going back downtown in Cumberland. I mean, chances are if it starts precipitating, it might be snow. My son lives close to, um, close to Tyler's Pappy, so I would be able to go out there and see him. Right up here is the Blue Bridge, West Virginia Blue Bridge, where the George Washington's headquarters are. Maybe I'll take you guys off this exit here. We've done this before, so I'm not really going to get out. I'm by myself, and it's freezing. <laughs> it's really freezing. If Tyler was with me, he could um, he could drive, and I could film. Welcome to Cumberland. Settled in 1754. This is definitely a historic town. Welcome to historic downtown Cumberland. Right across the street. See it, guys? Ahead. Hopefully we catch this light. We're not going to. Sh yeah, we are. Straight across the street is George Washington's headquarters, guys. Can you see it? There it is. George Washington's headquarters. Um, it originally set up on Washington Street. Um, where the courthouse. Right by where the courthouse is sitting now. We did that whole story. Um, I think last time I was here with, and Henriette came up with us, she helped me drive. Um, we did a lot of videos. So we could go up and ride through the cemetery. We'll ride through and see if we see anything. Who's up for that? We'll go up. This is Washington Street, guys. Look at all the steeples as we go. Watch the steeples in a distance. They are beautiful. I don't know what it is about steeples, but I really like them. I guess it's the churches. The library on your right is supposed to be haunted. This is really, this This was not um, a trip for videoing, but at least I'm getting this video in. And maybe I'll get a couple other videos in. So many steeples on this road. And like some of these old houses on this road, they have like lookout towers. I want to tilt you guys up a little bit. Because they have like... You climb up and you and, and you got a lookout tower. You'll have to pay it to all oh, the roads blocked off. Dang it. Okay, so the roads blocked off. I'm going to have to go to the right and then come back around. Or come back down. See how the road stops right there. I think that bridge is out and they just never repaired it. Cuz a little bridge that goes over a canal. All right, so we're gonna go this way. All right, dude, get over. Get over. All right, see so this bridge is messed up too. They only have one side of it open. This was a double bridge, but the other side must not be safe to even go on. I don't know. Like I said, it's a very, very old town. Extremely old. This is a nice area over in here. 
This is more of the historical houses. Lisa actually lived over here. I think she actually lived on this road. My best friend Lisa lived here for a while. Alright, who's ready to drive through this cemetery if it's open? Oh, I just passed it. 